it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond. I am here tonight for another one of my breaking news readings, okay? I do um, thank each and every one of you for listening and for watching. I hope everyone is doing well and feeling well. And if you um, enjoyed tonight's content, if you would be so kind to like, share, and or subscribe, um, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated, okay? Without any further ado, we are going to get into tonight's breaking news. Chief Chandra Hatcher with the Houston Police Department and I have with me Commander Hassett with the Southwest Patrol Division. This morning at approximately 6.30 a.m., our officers received a call about a possible DOA of an infant. They arrived at this location and spoke with a 17-year-old female who provided information that she gave birth to a child. And yesterday she went to an area hospital because she was still having abdominal pains. Based on the preliminary information that we have at this time, the birth occurred on Monday, sometime on Monday, at which time it was a premature uh, pregnancy. The baby was born. It is undetermined at this time if the baby was alive at birth or deceased at the time of birth. However, we do have information that the baby was buried here on site. The female went to an area hospital yesterday, like I mentioned, reporting of abdominal pain and notified medical staff at that hospital of the birth as well as the burial. Hospital staff notified law enforcement this morning, which is why we responded to this particular location. We do not have a lot of information at this time about the baby or uh, we are still very early in our investigation trying to determine exactly what occurred the medical examiner's office will conduct an autopsy to help us determine the cause of death. And the crime scene unit from the Houston Forensic Science Center is out here. They did unearth um, a, a very fresh patch of ground and did um, identify and locate an infant and child at the location. So at this point in time, um, our homicide division is out here. They are conducting the follow-up investigation. And I, I really just want to make sure that everybody knows that people find themselves in all types of situations. And if there is a, a possibility that a child is born and the conditions and situations are not suitable to keep that child or care for that child, the baby Moses law is still in effect they can take that baby to a fire station or an area hospital and give that child over to someone. They cannot leave the baby in, um, at a door or just on site. They do need to give that child to someone, no questions asked. So um, for anyone who may be in a similar situation, that is always an option and we highly recommend that they take that option. Uh, we are continuing our investigation and uh, we'll conduct a thorough investigation with sensitivity to those involved. So at this point in time, if you have any questions, I will take those. Is the Again, we are very early in the investigation, so we do not know. We still need to determine exactly what occurred um, on this particular scene. Just to make sure, uh, that the, 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 the young lady, is, uh, it was with abdominal pains that is in the, in the hospital. That was the one who was suspected to be the yes. mother? Yes, yes. Can you elaborate she, a little bit, please? Yes. So she went to the hospital yesterday. Apparently, um, based on the information that we have, the miscarriage occurred on Monday. However, she was still experiencing pains yesterday on Wednesday and went to the hospital because she was concerned that maybe um, she needed some medical attention. The hospital staff notified us of what occurred. And yes, they did some preliminary testing and determined that it was possible that she um, gave birth to a baby within a few days. So, 
so, so the baby was born here in this location and she went to the hospital? Based on the information that we know, the baby was born here at the location. Do you used to work in this carriage? Yes. Was the baby, was the baby a stillborn baby? We are not. She's, that she's claiming? Yes, we are not sure at this particular time. Um, we've received information that possibly the baby was stillborn, but again, we still need to conduct our thorough investigation and an autopsy will confirm the condition of the child. This young mother lives in this area? Yes, the mother does. Uh, based on the information that we have at this time, we believe she lives in this area. What about parents or, or, or something yes. that they, yes. they know anything? Or? Yes, so the family and friends at the location um, was unaware that the, uh, the mother was pregnant. She was very early on in her pregnancy and she was not physically showing. Uh, so it was a premature delivery. You know about how far along? Approximately 25 weeks. Okay, guys, um, so we are going to get started with tonight's uh, breaking news. Um, as I just showed you all the clip, the news clip there, um, this is going to be another breaking news story coming out of Texas, specifically Houston, Texas. Um, there's a, a, a young lady, um, 17 years old who um, was apparently pregnant, um, believed to have had a stillborn, and um, she buried this baby, okay? Um, after which time, she was having some abdominal pains, so um, she was taken to the hospital um, where it was concluded that she did, in fact, um, give birth or bypass a, a fetus, okay? Um, and so the police were called and, you know, their investigation started, um, so on and so forth. I do want to tell you all that there's way more to the story that, that is, um, than what is being said. Um, uh, if you all did not notice, okay, once again, um, like I tell you all, all the times, there are signs and symbolisms in everything, okay? Um, first of all, the, the, I think she said she was the assistant chief hatcher, um, that was speaking. She was really, like, from the moment I seen the video, like, she was really pulling on my energy. I could totally feel her energy through me, and this oftentimes happens when you are an empath, Okay. This lady was literally speaking. Um, I could literally tell like she wanted to cry. Um, I could hear it in her voice kind of, you know, her voice was a little shaky. It could have been like, you know, she, you know, as a woman maybe felt a little emotional by such, you know, uh, an eerie scene reporting to you know, on such something on something. So, you know, dealing with a little baby or something like that or whatever. Um, or it just could have been nervousness, okay? Just having to speak or whatever. But I, I was really, like, pulling on her energy, okay? But uh, as far as the signs and the symbolisms that I was about to tell you about, okay? Um, as I pointed out in my last breaking news segment um, with the 22, okay, guys? Like, there's a lot of things that's going to go down and um, this year, okay? I can already tell, okay? Um... They put subtle signs and clues in everything, okay? Some things are just, like, blatantly obvious, like, bam, right in your face, okay? And other things, like, you really have to have an eye to see or either be in the know um, when you see it, okay? So, um, I'm not sure if any of you all noticed, okay? But um, they were speaking in front of, you know, the, the African-American... Um, I believe she said she was the assistant or um, chief or of police um, hatcher. I believe is what she said, okay? She, she was the one that was speaking, okay? And then, of course, you had the Caucasian man that was standing to um, the left side of her with, of course, his hand in a Masonic um, a pose, okay? With, you know, the hands like this, okay? Which is a classic 
Masonic hand symbolism that they're like literally trained to do. Okay, but if you look, the, there was a police vehicle directly behind them. Okay, and the windshield of that police vehicle, okay, which would be directly behind the African American woman that you see who was speaking, telling you about the situation that occurred. Um, on that windshield, you see two two. Okay, um, which um, you know is symbolism for. Um, this year that we're in okay um now in texas there um most people other states like the expiration dates for their for your tags and different things it's actually on our tags and things like that i'm not sure if any other states do it but texas specifically i know that their expiration dates is not on their tags it's like a sticker type of deal that is on the windshield goes on the the windshield part of the vehicle so that's the reason why it was there, but that is not the point. Um, they were positioned specifically there in order to shoot that video there like that in that way. Um, specifically so the camera could, the, could beam in on the fact that you've seen the 22 there, okay? Um, just for anybody with an eye to see to be able to notice that, okay? So, um... I'm going to get into this, guys, okay? Uh, there's um, quite a bit of information here, okay? I had to do some extra with this one. Um, so I did pull a spread. I pulled some hidden messages. I also did a, um, a portion of my spirit reading where I get direct answers to certain things um, that I need to know. Um because I know what I see in the spread, okay? And if it's something specific that I need to know um, more so from what I'm seeing, I'll, I'll do the spirit reading where I'm asking spirit direct questions and I get a direct answer, okay? So we're going to go through these messages, okay? And it's literally... Uh, it's broken up into... I have one message. I have message that specifically comes from the teenage girl okay and then i or a spread that's specifically for this teenage girl and then i have another spread guys that is um specifically for uh the father okay or other family members and, and individuals involved in things okay guys um so um me just a minute guys I need to get this just in case I need to ask anything else okay okay so first of all I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna start off with the tarot portion and we're going to go into some extra messages okay guys um first of all I do want to let Houston um police know Houston detectives know whomever is working on this case um, I'm not sure if you all ask okay because it may not have come up just yet because of the simple fact you all may be totally just looking at the fact of um, the fact that you're dealing with um, a dead you know a, a fetus okay and the fact that, uh, uh, you know, who, who, who this fetus came from and the fact that it was buried. So you probably um, haven't really investigated, gotten to the point where you are, you have asked like anything else pertaining to that situation, leading up to that situation. Okay. So I want to tell you, Houston police, that um, this young girl, as far as as far as what happened with the baby she is telling the truth okay i believe she is an earth sign okay if not she is coming out as a earth sign okay she's coming out as a knight of coins okay and you know your pages as well as your knights are um are a uh, younger energy and they are versatile they could be male female okay she's coming out as an earth sign okay 
and she immediately popped out with the ace of swords okay so what she has told you pertaining to the pregnancy what happened how she had that baby the fact that she buried it that is the truth okay the ace of swords talks about truth and clarity okay cutting to the truth of the matter in a situation okay um spirit is saying that she did in fact um go into premature labor okay and she passed this baby okay but um This, this, mm -hmm. so she did tell the truth about that. She did actually miscarry, okay? The baby was dead, Spirit is saying. When she passed the baby, when she started having pains, and I believe this happened in the bathroom. I think maybe she was hurting and she thought maybe she had to use the bathroom. I see, I keep seeing a toilet and I see a tub. So she was either sitting in the toilet or, or she was either sitting on the toilet or she was sitting in the tub. When she started having pains and she had this baby. It happened in the bathroom though. When she passed this child, when this when when this fetus came out of her, it was already deceased. That is true. So when she the, the young lady told you that she miscarried and had a stillborn, which means this baby was not breathing, was not alive when it came out of her. Okay? So she did not kill this child. This baby was dead. Or, or, or was not alive when she had it, when it passed through her and came out. She miscarried it, okay? Those were the first two cards that came out, the Knight of Coins with the Ace of Swords, okay? This let me know off top that what this young lady has told you as far as that is the truth. But I think there are things that you have not asked or if you have, she is withholding from you because there is secrets pertaining to the situation. But before we get into that, after I first got from Spirit that I it was truth and clarity that she did in fact miscarry. And it was a stillborn, which means this child was not alive, the child was not breathing when she had it this baby wasn't even full term okay i have the tower the nine of swords and the empress the reason why she miscarried is because she was under a lot of stress okay um she was having sleep sleepless nights she was worrying she was scared she had high anxiety she was being taunted hunted and harassed even um about the fact that she was pregnant uh with the empress being here with her being pregnant she would have been a mother but i feel like her mother played a role in taunting her because of the fact that she was pregnant doing certain things, saying certain things that caused more stress on her. This overwhelming amount of stress is what caused this tower to collapse, which means is what is what caused her to miscarry. Houston police, I will tell you this that when the parents told you that they were not aware that she was pregnant, they lied. This is the reason why that when this girl went into labor, when she started having pains, because the, when I listened to the story, the first thing I said, I said, well, she had to have started having pains or felt something before the baby came out. How come somebody didn't get into the hospital then, but only after you had the kid, buried it, 
and was still having pains, did somebody get up and take you to the doctor? You understand what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense. If that's the case, then they could have just took you to the doctor from the get-go. The parents lied. Spirit is saying. The parents knew that she was pregnant, but there is secrets. There is secrets behind uh, about uh, the pregnancy was secret. There are secrets pertaining to the pregnancy. They did not want it known. Especially who she was pregnant by. The, the, the mother caused a lot of pressure on this young girl about the fact that she was pregnant. This girl was scared. She was stressed. She was depressed. She had anxiety. She couldn't sleep. She couldn't really eat. She was sad. Okay? So that's the energy that I am picking up from her. I will tell you that there... Uh, there could be some people that may not believe this, okay? But there are some supernatural forces that, that, that took place here, that happened, is what Spirit is telling me, okay? Because of the situation of her being pregnant, who she was pregnant by, the stress levels, how she was being practically taunted, haunted, um, um, by this and everything this miscarriage was a gift from God and I know somebody is going to sit back and say oh my God how stupid is that to say she was 17 this miscarriage was a gift from God this wasn't her killing her kid because she didn't want it This miscarriage, we have the ace of coins here with the will of fortune, okay? The ace of coins, you see this hand coming from like heaven, like this is like getting, literally getting a gift from God, okay? Now true enough, on the physical, what caused her an actual miscarriage is the anguish, the sadness, the depression, the misery, the anxiety, the depression, the stress is what physically caused this tower to collapse because she was in this nine of swords energy, predominantly because of her mother, on top of the fact that she was so young and going to be a mother, okay? This girl has, has um, angels with her around her um, this will turned for her this was like a hand from God you know coming in um, giving this young lady another chance at, at life this would have really ruined her life ruined her reputation um, especially if she would have had this child Um, and it's mainly because who she was pregnant by is the reason that this occurred. The, the, the reason, I mean, the reason that there was supernatural force involved also in what happened. Okay. This young girl was pregnant by her father. Okay. Who has been having sex with her for a long time. Okay. I'm just going to let you all know that. If that fetus is, is tested, has any fluids in it, I guarantee you that fetus has the DNA of the 17-year-old the girl and her father. Because that is what Spirit is telling me. She was pregnant by her father. 
Spirit is saying he's been having sex with her since she was 12 years old. Okay? So for um, the 17-year-old girl, like I said, I got the Knight of Coins for her, the Ace of Swords. She told you the truth pertaining to her miscarrying, miscarrying the baby, the baby not being alive. Her parents are the ones who told her to bury that baby, okay? So I also got the Tower, the Knight of Swords, or excuse me, the Nine of Swords, and the Empress that all came out for the 17-year-old mother, okay? So then I asked Spirit, who was she pregnant by? And this is how I know it was the father, okay? I got a spread of the Six of Cups, the Emperor, the Two of Wands, okay? The Emperor is seen as a father, a father figure, someone older, someone in power or leadership or something, but is often seen as the father. I have the Empress and the Emperor here, okay? Her mom and dad played a role in... Um, what went on with this with this girl okay the six of cups talks about reflecting looking back over your life looking back over a situation thinking back about something and then immediately the emperor came out okay and with the two of ones here the two of ones talks about a vision making a decision okay passionately making making some type of decision here okay i have the six of coin or excuse me the six of cups with the two of wands coupled here with the emperor this young girl was pregnant by her dad okay i got some extra messages um and, and, and like <laughs> this has been going on so long it was literally like a relationship okay i feel like that authorities just may find this out later because what came out under the, the the six of cups with the emperor and the two of wands i got the six of wands with the two of cups okay there's going to be some type of public recognition it's going to at some point it may be publicly known um that this emperor was in a relationship with his daughter like you know it was more it was more than just a mother or excuse me it was more than just a daughter dad relationship okay he had been having sex with her since she was 12 years old okay now, whether they make this public information or not, I believe at some point in time, the authorities will know, okay? Now, okay, um, but let me tell you how it came out, okay? So the first three cards that I got for the father was the Six of Cups, the Emperor, and the Two of Wands, okay? This man has made, made a decision to have sex with his daughter, okay? You know, a lot of which is what caused her anxiety, stress, depression, and everything, okay? So then I got the Six of Wands that came out with the Five of Wands. Like I said, the Six of Wands talks about, can often talks about um, public recognition. It can talk about success, triumphs, and victories in, 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 in some aspects, okay? But it, it often speaks to public recognition. Okay, being publicly recognized for a specific reason. Okay, and it is sitting right next to the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands um, talks about competition, conflict, arguing, fussing, fighting, cussing, competition. Okay, within this situation. So to clarify the six of wands, I got the two of the two of cups, okay? So what is going to be publicly recognized is this relationship. Okay? The pregnancy, who this young lady was pregnant by, which is her father, okay? When I clarified the five of wands, what is this competition about? What is this conflict about? Okay? 
Because all of this falls under the Father. I have the Ten of, the ten of Swords here. Ultimate betrayal. Okay? And the betrayal was the fact that he was having sex, had been having sex with his own daughter for so long and got her pregnant, okay? Because, okay, you have to see how you, this comes out, okay? You have the six of wands here with the five, the, uh, the five of wands. Public recognition, competition, okay? And then to clarify, you got the Two of Cups with the Ten of Swords. Ultimate betrayal in a relationship with a daughter and a father. Okay? We have the Four of Swords that is overlooking the reading. This girl is in recovery right now. She could be still in the hospital, but she's recovering right now. Her body needs to heal. She's going, experiencing a lot right now. She was in a lot of pain. Okay. Um, the sun here has illuminated, you know, why she needs this recovery, why she's going to need this recovery. Because she needs recovery in more than one way. This girl needs to be deprogrammed. She needs uh, counseling. A grief counselor as well as uh, um, uh, some type of uh, psychiatrist or th a therapist that can help her get her mind back right as, as, as well as the recovery that she needs from um, you know her doctors as well to heal her body okay because she's 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 suffering right now okay with the five of cups here this talks about sadness loss She's feeling miserable right now. Misery and pain right now. Okay? But like I said, with 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 what all took, she was under a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. Okay, guys? Um, and 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 that is what on the physical. Um, as human beings, when things happen, we look for something physical, tangible to to e explain something away from, you know, of, of what happened in a situation, okay? But there are things that happen on a spiritual, from a spiritual standpoint, a spiritual realm as well, okay? Because this, this, this girl being pregnant by her own father, this baby could have come out mentally ill. This baby could have come out deformed. This baby could have come out with all type of problematic issues, okay? That would have caused even more stress on this young mother, okay? So I, I feel like the Most High stepped in and turned this away, okay? And took care of this burdensome situation. For this young girl. Okay. Because it was causing her. So much pain. So much anguish. So much heartache. So much pain. Okay. So I pulled some. Um, hidden truth. Messages here. Okay. And for these. The 17. The teenage girl. Uh, the 17 year old. Uh, who was pregnant and miscarried she wished things could be different this is the reason why she you know she's very sad she's feeling very down she's gonna need counseling because what her father was doing to her she, it has been going on for so long she 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 is like accustomed to it now she's used to it and it just goes to show, like, when you, when you have friends and things like that, and when you, you're like, for those of us who are, you know, older now or whatever, you never know what somebody else is going through at home, okay? And, you know, most people who are bullies and tease you and taunt you and don't talk about you at school and don't want to be your friend, you know, you may be quiet by yourself. And it's that nobody knows what's going on at school. She could be one way at school. But when she gets home, she's completely miserable. 
She could have been the, 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 the type. You ever had that friend? That, like, they were bubbly all while they were at school. Or may kind of seem distant and quiet and things like that or whatever. But they had you as a friend or something like that. But it seemed like no sooner than school was out, they didn't want to go home. They immediately became sad. You never know what somebody is going through at home. What's going on in somebody's mind. This is the reason why you don't treat people any type of way. Because they don't have the best clothes on and the best shoes on because they're not the prettiest. Somebody could be getting raped every day when they go home. And they at school every day because they have to be. But you have no idea what the suffering is going through. You ever seen the ones when they come to school and they don't miss a meal, they hungry to death. That's because they don't get a thing to eat when they at home. You don't know what somebody is going through. People have got to stop treating people any type of way. You know the ones who picked on the people who didn't have shoestrings in their shoes or didn't have socks on or had on dirty shoe or shoes that they called buddies or ripped up tore up pants or dirty uniform or what a same outfit in this it, 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 a couple times in one week it's because they didn't have hardly anything because they were dirt freaking poor you don't know what somebody is going through This girl could have been one way at school and at home. She's being screwed by her dad every day since she was 12. And nobody knew. So um, the other message for her is it, it really clarifies the four of swords here that that like literally is you know overshadowing the whole reading it's time for me to heal now so the first message is i wish things could be different and the second message from her is it's time for me to heal now and that's exactly what she's doing she's in she's she's healing right now from the trauma from the pain from the loss from the stress from the anxiety from everything that she has endured is she going to open up and tell the counselor um, tell a doctor, tell a nurse, tell some, tell the detectives, tell somebody that she was in fact pregnant. Because I, I believe it's so early in their investigation right now that they're literally just trying to figure out if she killed this baby or not. And why she buried this baby. I guarantee you they probably haven't even asked her yet. Hey, by the way, who was you pregnant by? Because you probably assumed that because of the fact that she's 17, she fast and hot in the ass. You probably automatically assume, oh, she's in high school. She got a little high school boyfriend. She got some kind of boyfriend, you know, or whatever. They probably hadn't even got to the point to ask her, you know, who, who are you pregnant by? Does, does, does the baby father know? You know, and depending on how she answers those questions, if she looks down, if she instantly tear up, if she seems like she gets sad or quiet all of a sudden, you, you automatically intuitively should know that something is being hidden. She is not saying something, but on an investigation standpoint, I don't believe the police have gotten that far yet. I think they're just kind of thrown aback by the fact that they got this call from the hospital. A young girl had a baby, but she didn't come to the hospital with the baby. She said she buried the baby, so they immediately went over there to find the baby. They actually found the baby. So now they're trying to determine, was the baby killed? Or did she really, you know, miscarry or whatever? So... But yeah, so I'm not even sure if they've gotten that far. Hold on, guys. Let me get my cat down. She's doing the most, and she know I do not even allow her up on my show. Okay, guys. Um, sorry about that. Okay, so there was a lot of messages that came out with um her father. Okay. So um, the first message we have here is um, it was my fault, but I blamed you. Yeah, that's what this fool is uh, is thinking. Okay, he clearly knew he was screwing his own daughter. He knew you 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 got her pregnant. It's not her fault. You probably smooth coaster and had her under mind control, been grooming her all these years. 
telling her, oh, it's okay to screw daddy until you got her pregnant. He said, it's just my fault, but I blamed you. Okay? That's, 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 those are the messages coming from the father, okay? Then he says, I regret lying to you. He lied to her. He had her under mind control. He probably literally told her, I, I, I literally feel like he told her that it was okay. From a young age, okay? He probably told her that it was okay for a, a, a father to be sexually intimate with his daughter. He had to show her what it was like before she got a boyfriend. You know, anything stupid like that. So he could have his way with her. He regrets lying to her. Okay? Because now it's known that she was pregnant. Okay? Because, see, she was so early in her pregnancy that nobody else knew that she was pregnant. But the parents lied to the police. They, in fact, knew that she was pregnant. Okay? They knew she was pregnant. And so she, when she miscarried, they are the ones who told her to bury that baby. Okay? And they thought it was just in like that. Okay, so, so the baby is gone. Nobody is going to know that you were pregnant or who you were pregnant by or anything like that. Okay? Because, it, which is another reason why she was probably under a lot of anxiety and, and other things was going on behind the scenes anyway. Okay? Because you know if she would have went full term by the time she had that baby, that baby's blood would have been tested. Okay, and that baby's blood would have had her blood in it as well as her father's. Okay, it would have been some overlapping DNA in that baby. So at some point in time, it would have been known. Yeah. So the father's saying, "I wish I treated you better." Yeah, it's a little bit too late for that partner. Now he wish he treated her better. You wish you wasn't having sex with her. You mean right? You regret lying to her, telling her that it was okay to have sex with daddy. To let daddy touch you in your private parts. Look, this is what the father is saying. I know that I crossed the line with you. You think? Yeah, you think? You did more than cross the line with your daughter. Not only was you 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 grooming her, you lying to her, you manipulating her mind, you forcing her to engage in sexual activity with you, telling her that it was okay. You crossed the line with her in more than one way, especially when you got her pregnant. Whole life ahead of her, she got to sit up pregnant by her own father. Look at. He says, I know exactly, I knew exactly what I was doing. He knew he was lying to her. He knew it was his fault. He knew he was mistreating her. Crossing all kinds of lines with her. He knew exactly what he was doing. So now he's like, I know I messed everything up. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. But he was obsessed with his daughter, okay? And that's the reason why you had that competition there, okay? Because she's 17, she's in high school. Of course, she's gone through puberty and everything like that. So she's amongst peers her age, you know, and whoever else she would have been attracted to. So, of course, she would have had, like, a boyfriend or something like that or whatever. The dad was in competition with other dudes that liked her. It's what spirit is saying. He was obsessed with her. Just being near you is intoxicating. Really? You just make me want to throw up in my mouth. This is how he, this is how he talked to her when she was at home. In the back of this girl mind, she probably couldn't wait till she turned 18 so she can get the hell out and go somewhere else, do something else, anything to get away from him. Okay? So, Houston, we have a problem because that's what's going on 
with this situation. Besides, you were still seeking answers. There you go. Okay, so I did a spirit reading to clarify some things. Um, I asked my spirit guys, um, if the did the teenage uh, the teenage girl did she actually give birth to a stillborn baby? My spirit guys tell me yes, she did actually. Um, it's not really it's. I say giving birth, it, it still comes out, like, because it still comes through the, from the vaginal area, okay, but because the fetus, the fetus is so small, um, you know, it, 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 it will slide out, it will come out more like a big clump of, you know, something out of your vagina, it comes out of the vagina, so one can call that birth, but it's really like a passing of, you know, or whatever but the baby was still born which means this baby was not breathing this baby's eyes were not even open or anything this baby was still born it was not even full term okay um my spirit guys tell me that the parents did in fact know that um their teenage daughter was pregnant okay um also, my spirit guides tell me that the pregnant teen uh, was pregnant by her father, okay? Um, my spirit guides tell me that the parents told her to uh, to bury the body, okay? So, she buried this child um, um, with the direction of her parents who told her to do it. Because that was something else that I was also thinking about, Um when I was listening to the story, I'm like, you know, if somebody is in a lot of pain, you know, when you got a house with people, okay, and I get people have different size houses and different things like that or whatever, but when you're in a house and somebody's in pain, they're going to, you know, express the fact that they're in a lot of pain in a certain kind of way, okay, and, uh, so, you know, and even if they don't, even if this happened, she went to the bathroom, she didn't know this was going to occur, she just tried to, you know, go to the restroom, and then this happened, or whatever, and she wrapped the baby up, or whatever, but you're not telling me, then she then redressed herself, probably bloody and all, with, 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 with this um, fetus wrapped up, walk through the house, walk outside, to the backyard, grab a shovel, dig a hole, and put it in, you know, nobody seen anything, nobody knew anything, nobody said anything, hey, why are you digging a hole, what are you doing that for, like, you know, anything like that, no, my spirit guys tell me that the parents, um, not only knew that she was pregnant, knew that she had miscarried, um, and, and they also told her to bury the body, okay, um, and it was, in fact, the parents, who got who um, got her to the hospital after the fact, considering the fact that she was still in a lot of excruciating pain, okay? My spirit guides tell me that the father has been having sex with his daughter um, for a long time now. Specifically, my spirit guides tell me that he has been having sex with her since she was 12 years old, okay? Um... My, my, my spirit guides... My spirit guys tell me that the mother didn't know that the father was having sex with her daughter, but she did know that her daughter was pregnant. Okay? And so I hope that makes sense. Okay? So like I said, there's a lot hidden in the situation. There's a lot that is going on. Um, he has been doing this for some time. Um, I, I don't understand how. I mean, it is possible. It is possible, okay? Especially if the mother works or, you know, this occurred like while she was sleeping or going from home or something like that. It is definitely possible for um, a, a mother not to know that uh, they're, they're, you know, 
that their daughter is even having sex, let alone their husband or their, their boyfriend is having sex with them and for such a long time, okay? But specifically, I got that the mother didn't know that the father was having sex with her daughter, but she did know that the daughter was uh, pregnant, guys, okay? Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Spirit may want to. Spirit or er, spirit is saying something more right now, guys. But um, I was getting ready to say the detectives in Houston. They may want to if they decide to dig deeper into this investigation. Um, they want to make, may want to ask more specifically about that. Okay. Um, especially once the information starts coming out, just how much the mother knew. Okay. Because something tells me that she did know something or have seen something suspicious or something, because this has been going on for a long time. Okay. And especially with her knowing that the daughter was pregnant as well, you know, um, the first thing any mother would ask, okay? First of all, most mothers would be mad as hell that their teenager would be pregnant, but the first thing the mother was asked would be, by who? You know? She wanted to know who this fool is that you're pregnant by, okay? So, um, I feel like at some point, maybe the mother didn't know at first, but at some point she did, and um, this is the reason why they, they took such measures to try to hide this. This could also be the reason why she was taunting and hunting and harassing and attacking the daughter so much um, pertaining to this as well, guys. Okay? But on the surface of the investigation, like I said, um, as far as what she told the doctors, the nurse, the police, um, she did, in fact, have a, um, a stillborn child, okay? Spirit is saying that mental illness plays some type of part here. The father could be mentally ill. Um, there could be... She could have some type of mental illness. She could have some disabilities of some kind, okay? Which is also another reason why the father was so easily able to prey upon her, especially with her being a lot older. You understand what I'm saying? It's one thing for you to be taken advantage of when you're younger, but like, you know, you 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 16, 17, going on 18 years old. You know what I'm saying? You you liable to fight back. You liable to say no. You know what I'm saying? Um, you liable to do something even if you got to run away. You understand what I'm saying? So with mental illness coming out first, um, this young lady, I feel like either I feel like could have some type of mental health issues. Okay, she could have some type of disabilities, and this is how so easily. Yes, yeah, she do. Spirit is saying she do. Uh, this is how so easily the father was able to pray on her and convince her that it was okay for them to have sex. Spirit is saying that these MFs crazy, okay? So, obviously, there's something very crazy pertaining to the, the, the parents, the father, specifically, or, or something. But, but Spirit is saying that these MFs are crazy, okay? There was definitely a lot of betrayal within this family. There's a lot of things that's hidden, Okay? There's a lot of things that is hidden, hidden pertaining to the situation, pertaining to um, behind the scenes things going on. Okay, um, this this young girl here, um, not only was she mentally ill and had disabilities of some kind, um, she could have, I mean, she could have a multitude of different type of disabilities. Okay, that would cause her to be a little slow or or. I mean, disabilities fall in different types of ways, so I don't want to guesstimate on anything or whatever, but Spirit is saying that she's under MK Ultra mind control, so this young girl is under mind control, okay? Um, which means, um, I believe... Uh, I believe this, this girl could be on medication for her mental illness and her disabilities as well, okay? But she's under mind control, and this is also a... Um, this is also a way that she was she was she was controlled 
she was being handled, okay? Spirit is saying that the family made attempts to harm her, okay? Um, we have the high priestess here, so there's definitely things that is hidden pertaining to the situation. There's some type of secret knowledge, secret information, which I think a lot of it I have shared with you all, okay? Um, there's this that Jezebel's sexual demon that, you know, is obviously could be, it's obviously on the father, okay? Because I, I'm not going to say it's on her because he was praying on her, period, okay? And if she, ha you know, if she has gotten to the point where, you know, because she was used to it, she had gotten promiscuous or anything, it's because he caused it. So, yeah, it's, it's on him, you know, I'm not going to say it about her. Okay, yeah, spirit is seeing that the, he's the devil in disguise. This man is uh, uh, is wicked. Um, he's evil. He's demonic or demonically possessed. Very two faced individual. Spirit is saying that people need to stay away from this cycle. That he's a cycle. That she should have stayed away from this cycle. But you know, when this is your dad and you're living under the same roof with him, you know, what do you do? Okay, protect yourself from predators. I'm telling you, her dad is a freaking predator. Okay, look, fake love from thy father. Yeah, he was teaching her how to love, all right, in a whole nother way. Rape. I told you, he's been raping this girl since she was 12, Spirit told me, okay? Um. Also, for some reason, there's some type of connection to some sex ring. I, I really hope he wasn't pimping her out to other people. Ah. Uh, but the father has some type of, uh, uh, of connection to some type of sex ring in Texas. Okay. He has some type of, he, he's got a lot of sexual addictions. He's, he's cool with or linked up with or in connection with, um, some type of sex ring or something in Texas, okay? Or either, um, but this could be like, uh, he solicits the services of like prostitutes and things like that, okay? Um, you know, he, he uh, because Spirit is saying, like he didn't pimp her out to anybody else. Um, but he specifically has connection with people that's either in a sex ring, involved in a sex ring, which could, totally, could, could mean that, you know, with the sexual demon, card coming out here this could just mean that 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 um he was such a sexual predator or sexual deviant um that he solicited the services from uh prostitutes and things okay is is what i'm picking up okay um spirit we have satanic sellouts here okay so um you know this talks about sacrifice secret society the occult um, the father could have some, or the family could have connections, um, you know, to, to certain people, to certain organizations. They could be sellouts to, to some point, um, or whatever. Spirit is saying that this father is under demonic possession. Like I said, this man, this person is very evil, very wicked. Okay. Got demons working through him. Okay. Um, spirit is saying that this individual is a low down, dirty shame. Okay. This young lady has the blues right now. Like I said, she's 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 in a state of uh, of shock, of sadness, of loss, of misery, of pain, you know, hurt, heartache. She's feeling down. That's why that's why she's like she's she's still in recovery mode here. Okay, that's the reason why we see the four of ones with the recovery, and we have the five of cups as well. Okay, and then you know the sun is back here. You know she, she'll see brighter days later. Okay. But the sun, you see how it's so much darkness all around her? But the sun is shining a light. The sun is shining a light on, on the situation of what happened. The fact that she was pregnant. You know, she's probably worried. The parents are probably worried that it's going to seep out, that it's going to come out who she was pregnant by and different things like that or whatever. But this girl's in recovery mode right now, okay? And she's feeling very sad right now as well. 
okay? Spirit is saying that she couldn't trust anybody, okay? She had to watch her back. There was a lot of deception around her, a lot of evil around her, a lot of wicked around her, okay? Yeah, and then we have what's done in the dark. So a lot of these things was being done late at night, done in the dark, behind the scenes, you know. Late at night, he's sneaking and creeping in her room. Waking her up out of sleep, even. And probably, you know, he, he was doing it for so long. It probably got to the point where she was used to him sneaking in there. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to see really quick if there are any more messages that Spirit would like for me to share with you all pertaining to this um to this breaking news story, guys. This is so sad. Spirit, are there any other messages that I need to share with the collective pertaining to the situation? Yeah. The first card that flew out, somebody's mad you rejected them. Was she hurting? Was she in pain? And her father came on to her. He wanted to have sex with her. And she told him no. She told him she, she, she couldn't. say yes oh spirit say yes yeah she rejected him for sex she she he did something to hurt her he did something to hurt her she was she wasn't feeling good um she could have, you know, been, you know, been hurting or just not feeling good, you know, maybe vomiting and things like that. People that's pregnant, you know, know how it goes. And he was trying to have sex with her and she rejected him. She told him no. She told him no. And he snapped. Spirit said he snapped. And he could have hit her. He could have hit her. Yeah. Yeah. He snapped because she had a foul mouth. When she rejected him, she had a foul mouth. And he snapped. Mm -hmm. What else, spirit? What else, spirit? Mm -mm -mm. Him hitting her could have caused her to, 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 to have the miscarriage, guys. Yeah. And that could be, you know what? That could be why we got this, this, yeah. That could be why we got this ultimate portrayal here with the Ten of Swords. He did something to her. She did, she did, she didn't lie to the police, okay, guys? She didn't lie. She did actually give birth to a stillborn, okay? But, uh, yeah, we got Earth energy here. I believe she's an Earth sign. Um, he hit her, though. He did something. He hit her, pushed her down. Um, he he did something that caused her to start at, start at hurting. Yeah, and 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 that's when she miscarried. She did, in fact, she did, in fact, birth a stillborn though. Okay, so the the. With all of this happening, the baby was never alive. The baby was, wasn't breathing. The baby's eyes wasn't opened. And see, this is the reason why the parents told her to bury that baby. They thought it was going to be able to cover up to the fact that she was still in pain. She was hurting so bad. Trauma forced upon you. He did something to her. The plot thickens. Yeah, spirit is saying, oh, 
Spirit is saying it's just a low down dirty shame. This is sad. This is sad. She was feeling like, how do you make it when you have no family, no friends? That's sad. Spirit, what else? What else is going on with this, um, this teenage girl and her miscarriage? What else is going on, Spirit, with this teenage girl and her miscarriage? the satanic powers that be here we have hidden childhood there's things about her childhood or in her childhood that is hidden somebody put a spell on you that could have been some type of spell work going on can't trust nobody this is crazy spirit what else is going on Heartache and loss over what they no longer have. She was treated like an or orphan. She was treated like an orphan, like she was nothing. Mm -hmm. Spirit, are there any other messages pertaining to... Mm. Domestic violence, I told you. She was hit. He hit her. Hit her, slapped her, punched her, kicked her, something. That's why she started hurting. That's why she ended up losing the baby. Yeah, they don't care about us. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't care about her. It's like her people didn't even care about her. Especially the dad. Ugh. Okay, Spirit, are there any other messages I need to share with the collective? Any other messages I need to share with the collective? Sorry, guys, there's so many cards there. I've been trying to get through all of them just to see what messages might come through. She could have been... She felt insecure about herself. She felt very insecure about herself. Her family could be some fake. I've seen fake phony Christians. They could run around town acting like they saved, sanctified, and delivered type. They holier than thou and all of that. We got hospitalization. She's like in the hospital right now. She's still in the hospital. Any other messages, Spirit? Anything else that we need to know pertaining to this young lady and um, her giving birth to a stillborn or her family? Anything else we need to know? Okay. That looks like that's all the messages that we have here. Okay, guys. Let me check my other decks real quick just to make sure I don't need to share any other messages with you all. Um, let me see.
black magic fell out so there was definitely black magic going on around her in that house somewhere that the father he he punched her he hit her he, he kicked her he did something um that after he did did it um a short while later she was like in pain and she ended up um losing the baby but he did something spirit are there any other messages here seen the HNIC <laughs> the head nigga in charge obviously her father acted like or thought he was the head nigga in charge mm. are there any other messages spirit are there any other messages pertaining to the situation yeah somebody was definitely see, somebody was definitely doing like Somebody was doing black magic on her, some type of witchcraft on her to try to cause her to lose the baby. They did not want her to have that baby. They did not want her to have that baby. Um, I, I, I'm also feeling like she could be in danger too. Because if this information gets out, when she gets out of the hospital, she goes back to the house. I feel like, um, I, I feel like they might try to do something to her, um, maybe to uh, harm her, kill her or something to keep her from speaking, to shut her up or something. So law enforcement may need to look into that. Um, it may not be uh, safe for her. To go back to our house but i mean we are being 17 years old i'm not sure how close she is to 18 um, um or what could be you know what could really be done for her okay because mm, mm, seems like Seems like the entire family, I just seen the whole family in on it. So the entire family may have known, or at least the people that live within their house may know that um, she was pregnant and, and what exactly what was happening, exactly what was going on or, or what led up to her actually having a miscarriage. Okay. But as far as what the, you know, uh, what the police are starting off with basically seeing was this baby alive when you know when she had it um you know this that and the other i can matter of factly tell you that that baby was a stillborn when she had it um um she although it seems that her her being hit or pushed or kicked or pushed down something caused her to um, have the miscarriage okay I don't feel like it naturally occurred but I can say that when it occurred um, that the, the that the baby was not alive um, so I'm not really sure how you know law enforcement would look at that um, yeah, we got random acts of violence here. Okay. So, yeah, Spirit is saying, you know, we got random acts of violence, domestic violence, somebody mad, you rejected them, snapped. Okay, so somebody wigs out. Okay, she rejected somebody, they snapped. Okay, which caused a domestic violence situation, okay? And this was just kind of sporadic, random, out the blue, and just like totally, you know, wigs out. 
on this girl, okay? And it, it, it caused her to, to, to have this miscarriage, okay? These people are hypocrites, okay? Okay, Spirit, that's all the messages I'm seeing here for that. Are there any other messages, Spirit? Do I need to pull for another deck? Okay. I'm going to check my color deck, guys, just to see if we get any other messages. And then we're going to wrap up this... Um, Breaking news reading for tonight. I do hope that the information provided will help um, law enforcement or those who need answers and clarity as to what's going on pertaining to this situation. Are there any other messages that we need to know pertaining to the situation? Any other messages? Oh. Spirit is saying that her whole karmic family is evil to the core. Okay. Any other messages, Spirit, that we need to know pertaining to the situation? She do have somebody that's praying for her, though. Um, you know, it could be somebody at a distance from her, but it seems like somebody, um, there could be somebody that do care about her, that do love her. Somebody is um, praying for her. I just seen that message, okay? Spirit, are there any other messages here? Hmm. Any other messages? I'm really feeling like her life could be in danger um, if she goes back to that house. Because this information gets out, you know what I'm saying? Um, of course, other people involved uh, probably be held accountable for what happened. And they don't want that to happen. So I believe they will try to set something up to attack her. Any other messages, Spirit? This person, her, the, the dad had mood swings, okay? Yeah, so remember we had treat, always treated like an orphan. Now we, this just flew out my hand. I never had family or friends and always had to stand alone, orphan on my own. Um, Spirit, are there any other messages that we need to know pertaining to the situation? these people are wolves in sheep's clothing okay i feel like i feel like her family her parents are the ones you know the the, the, the type that you know put on you know the show um when other people come around you know when they're around people in power especially caucasian people um you know type of thing or whatever but behind the scenes that's that somebody's totally different coming through and saying that they seek to see this young lady lose okay and spirit is coming through to tell her to stay strong as well as well she's definitely going to need some counseling some help some therapy some something okay to help her get through this yeah spirit is saying they tried to end you i believe they was going to they was going to plan something to like maybe Kill her, hurt her, then like I don't know. They literally wanted to end her in some type of way. This is getting a little. Spirit, are there any other messages that we need to know pertaining to the situation?
so we, we, we have here, they only protect and serve themselves and the powers that be. Okay. She could be feeling like that, you know, nobody's going to help her. Nobody's going to do anything. They only protect and serve themselves, um, you know, and those of them in power. Um, uh, is any of her people... Um, I guess they would have said so. Um, any of her people work in government or law enforcement, okay? But she could just, this could just have come out because she's feeling like, you know, nobody's going to help her because, you know, maybe the police only protect and serve themselves and the powers that be, okay? But there's definitely some type of plots, plans, and schemes that's going on behind the scenes. Yeah. Spirit is saying that these people are false prophets and are, and are snakes, okay? Um, I told you earlier when I seen the fake, phony, fraudulent Christians, okay? So, like I said, they're the type that, you know, um, may act like they're uprighteous and uh, upstanding pillars of the community type. Like they, you know... Um, Christians and, and, and things like that, okay? But it's all type of sinister things that's going on behind the scenes that nobody knows about, okay? I definitely feel like that that's going on in this situation here. Okay, Spirit. Okay, guys, I think that clarifies... I think that clarifies everything that I need to share with you all tonight, guys. I hope that this information um, will be able to help or assist um, law enforcement in some way, shape, form, or fashion, guys. Um, this is a very unfortunate situation. Um, I decided to take on this breaking news story just because of the simple fact that I wanted to know that... Um, I wanted to know that uh, she really, you know, have a stillborn or did something else occur. And so I ended up getting like a whole nother message and things going on. So, yeah. Well, guys, I thank you for listening and for watching. Um, if you would be so kind to like, share and subscribe, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Okay, um, if there's anybody who would like to contact me pertaining um, a missing mystery, a murder mystery, a uh, breaking news segment, or just a general topic that you would like for me to do a reading on, I would be more than glad to do so for you. You can email me at tiffanyziggler60 at gmail.com or at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com guys also i do we have this i just shuffled the kipper deck here okay i have a, a there's going to be an official person okay this could be a police officer detective somebody in power here okay um who is going to be speaking to this mature man about this lover situation here okay pertaining to this young lady There's going to be some messages of concern pertaining to this as well. Somebody's going to be receiving some type of messages of concern um, about their knowledge of this. Um, okay. Yeah. You got the mature woman out here. So I feel like this is the mother and the father here. Okay. Okay. Okay, but this if this official person um, is going to be contacting, there's going to be speak. He's going to be speaking to this mature man, okay, about uh, this lover situation, possibly between himself and his daughter, okay. And there's going to be messages of concern, okay. I feel like these messages are going of concern are going to come in, and this mature woman is going to see it, and you see how she's grabbing her chest like. 
um, you know, she's like, you know, thrown aback by whatever messages or news or information that she gets pertaining to, um, you know, this situation. Okay. Yeah. There could be some type of court or legal situation pertaining to this. Okay. Yeah. And so this 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 um mature man is going to be left um with feelings of concern pertaining to this. Okay. Yeah. So there was this courtship, this relationship that was going on here. Okay. And that's what this concern is about here. Yeah, this message of concern, we have we have child. Okay. And we have journey here. Okay. And we have courthouse, okay? So somebody could be going to court about a situation, about this situation, pertaining to this situation. Yeah, because obviously this father was in a relationship with his child. He got his own child pregnant with a child. Okay, and I believe that information is going to come out. Okay, I feel like the authorities are going to find out um, about that. Okay, and and move forward pertaining to to that um, situation, guys. Oh, this is so unfortunate. I hope that this doesn't mess up this young lady's life. Okay, guys, so like I said, I thank you all for listening and watching. I do hope the information, um, you know, gave you all the, the, the clarification that you needed, answered some questions to help you um, solve this case. Okay, guys? Um, and like I said, you all know how to contact me. The information will be in the description box below. If there's anybody who feel, um, you know, it has been placed on your heart and you would like to donate to the channel. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, you can do so at Tiffany Ziegler 60. Or Excuse me. I am so sorry, guys. I'm talking so fast. If you would like to donate to the channel, okay, you can do so through Cash App, okay? Um, it is dollar sign Tiff Diamond 36. You can also donate through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at 36diamond. Um, okay, guys? Thank you so much in advance. So, so very much in advance, guys. Um, I don't know. We had a couple minutes. Oh, yeah. This is the Black Magic. Oh, Black Magic Secret Society. Them, them the two that fell out on the floor and I didn't pick them up. Okay, guys. Um, so, as I always tell you all, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. But most of all, take care of your babies, guys. Okay? Um, there's wickedness in high places and there is evil that is lurking around every corner, okay? You just never know when somebody may betray you or stab you in the back, honey, so keep some protection on you, okay? Watch the surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well, okay? Um, y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared, um, because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am. Created in the image of God.